Hey guys, in this video, we are going to see how we can use Sleevers in Flutter web. This is the website which we are using till now for demonstrating. This website is changed to this. Uh, these are all the same options which was available in the previous website. But adding to this, there is this new option, Sleevers and Code. Being of the option, we come inside this page. So basics of this page. This page itself uses a sliver scaffold and these are the options inside this web page currently four and the last one is the code pens which I have programmed till now. Let's see the first sliver. I have named it as simple sliver. So this is basically a sliver with children in it and we can see it scrolling as a normal scaffold which we would do. Let's switch over to the next option, sliver with header. So this is named as sliver with header because let's observe this widget or this bar fun with slivers as I scroll. So the bar gets disappeared and it appears when I have scrolled to the top and gets disappeared as soon as I have scrolled a certain offset. This was achieved with the help of simply flutter inbuilt widgets there was no special widget build for this the description of how it was achieved is mentioned in the article below time to go forward with the third widget sliver app bar so this widget observed this image of mountain carefully when i scroll down so as I scroll down the entire image gets disappeared and it appears as soon as I have reached this certain offset. Let's move over to the others option now. So this option comprises of three widgets sliver padding, sliver to box adapter and sliver fill remaining. Sliver padding is simply this white space you see. This is simply a padding which is only applicable for sliver type of widgets. And if you see at the bottom, you also see this white space. Sliver to box adapter, you can think of it as a sized box, only applicable for sliver kind of widgets. And at the last sliver fill remaining, it's just a placeholder for acquiring the remaining space in a sliver if there's nothing to show. Finally, at the end, let's move over to a special section called as code pins. These are basically the code pins which I have created during this month. So first one is for the animation. It comprises of all the implicit animations inside Flutter. Next up is the layout code pin which I have created. So first one starts with a grid of one by one. The one by one, the second one with two by two, and similarly three by three, and this keeps on repeating. The final code pen is of a stack layout. This is simply a stack on top, a widget on top of another, and it tries to say, Hey there, I was stacked. I feel this was too much in this one single video, but, anyways, everything is mentioned in the article description below. You guys can grasp it on your own pace and as always the source code is open sourced and the link is just is mentioned in the link below thank you guys for watching and have a good time